Do you have a computer that you would like to have the latest wireless capabilities on? Wi-Fi aside, would you also like for that computer to have the latest in Bluetooth technology? If you answered yes to any of those questions, then the Gigabyte GC-WB867D-I Rev 4.2 might be the PCI Express card for you. Okay, we need to have a talk about the naming structures of technology. This PCI card offers 802.11ac Wi-Fi capabilities and claims to get speeds up to 867 Mbps. It does this by using dual band Wi-Fi to help ensure a strong and stable connection to your wireless access point. The card also offers Bluetooth 4.2 technology to allow for faster data speed transfers that are supposed to be roughly three times the speeds of previous Bluetooth technology. The card is easy for a person to install into their own computer. Simply find the appropriate slot on your motherboard and slide it in. Of course, computer cases have a different rear I.O., so be sure to check your computer case's manual to see how to remove the back panel cover. It's typically just a thumb screw that needs to be taken out, slide it out, you're good to go. The card is powered by a USB header off your motherboard, but gives you a free USB port inside of your computer once it is installed. This new free USB port can be used for ambient lighting, internal external hard disk drives, or other PC accessories that you may have run off of USB. Intel is the maker of the wireless chip that is mounted onto the board and supports Intel Wi-Fi, Intel Wi-Di, and other Intel software features. The whole point of the card is to allow a desktop computer to have modern capabilities such as that of a laptop. With this card, you can browse the web at fast speeds as if you were using an Ethernet cable. Note, this will not increase the actual internet speed itself. You can also transfer files to and from your desktop using Bluetooth, which has been improved thanks to 4.2 technology and the increase in speeds. The card comes with an antenna which attaches to the card itself via two thumb screws. Just find a location around your computer where you can set it down and you're done. As simple as that. Now onto my final thoughts of this card. I have had the card a few months and overall I have been very pleased with the performance of the card itself. I'm going to get the bat out of the way first here however. I'm not sure if it's just my card but whenever I use Bluetooth headphones and Wi-Fi the speed of the Wi-Fi drops drastically. If I'm playing a game, the ping will skyrocket and basically the game is unplayable if it is an online game. I have updated drivers and done a fresh reinstall of the drivers, but nothing has fixed the issue. It seems the card has a tough time handling both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, but still tries its best. If you are just using Bluetooth headphones and watching a YouTube video or streaming content, you'll be fine. If you're wanting to use Bluetooth headphones for streaming audio as well as playing a game, you're probably going to have some ping issues if this is indeed a product fault. It's only internet heavy task that it actually shows this weakness to, however, so take it for what you will. With that aside, the card itself is amazing. The speed is very fast, again not internet speed here we're talking about all while maintaining a great signal quality. It is super easy to pair devices to for Bluetooth, and the range of those Bluetooth devices is amazing for how small the antenna in the card itself actually is. If you are in the market for a PCIe card that offers AC, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth 4.2 technology, then this card should work very well for you. While being affordable, and it seeming to have a heavy wireless load trade-off, it is still a very good card that should be looked at. This has been Keith for the KTR. Please leave a comment down below and I hope to hear from y'all. Thank you.